And is it? I mean, big, uh, and does Dustin bring his, home, his work home with him? What do you mean? Is work what? a euphemism or? No, no. <laughs> his tools. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, if he's, if he's working on a movie, do you get to kind of live through the whole experience as well? I do. I do. He, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good or bad? It depends on the character. You <laughs> loved it when I did Tootsie. Loved it when you did Tootsie. Yeah. We Seriously? Were, we Seriously. Were girlfriends. Seriously. We were, yeah. I really miss Dorothy. Dorothy would come home from work and I'd have a girlfriend. It was. <laughs> Dustin, did, that was did you great. have lesbian experiences? <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> what you call no. it. And she didn't have to own up to it. <laughs> husband, husband says to his wife, you know, we've been married for a few years and I don't understand, you know, I really love you and you love me and we have wonderful sex together, but can I ask you a personal question? He says, what? He says, he says, do you have orgasms? She says, of course I do. He says, why is it you never tell me when you're having one? She says, I would, but you're never around. <laughs> Uh, because scientists, right, they're working for the British Heart Foundation, and they say married people that have regular sex stay fitter and live longer. Wow. And about 30 minutes a day is about all you need. You're both looking very fit, I have to say. <laughs> you need 30 minutes a day of being married? What? I, I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, uh, if you have enough sex, you live longer, stay healthier, and you could be Joseph. <laughs> No, uh, lots of sex helps you uh, remain fit, yes. but it doesn't improve your looks. <laughs> now, apparently, among the activities that keep you healthy are walking through the woods, having sex with someone, and <laughs> digging a hole in the ground. I think you should do it all in one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Add on burning clothes and running yes. away from the police, and... Uh, <laughs> You've got your 30 minutes right there. <laughs> You're done. Um, now, one of the British Heart Foundation ads shows this picture. Oh. I wonder what he's saying. He's probably saying, sorry, I forgot the condoms. Oh, hang on, we're in the Firth of Fourth. Here's one between these turds. <laughs> vile, vile, vile. Now, what did you say? You, so you've been married for 27 years, together 30? 26 years. 26 years. Been together 30 years. Been yeah. together 30 30 yeah. years. Yeah. And at what, it, I mean, I know you must get asked this all the time because very few people have been together for 30 years. Is there, is there any secret or bit of advice you would give other people? Don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you do seem very happy and, and, you know, content together and you travel the world together. So what we do is we uh, ask some couples who are coming in tonight uh, to, to kiss each other, right? And we film them kissing. And the idea is we wondered if by looking at the way they kiss, yes. you can guess how long they've been together. Good. Ballpark Good. figures. Good. Ballpark figures. Good game. Okay. Good game. So, I thought so. Uh, okay, so first up, I think, is it Rebecca and Tim first? Where are Rebecca and Tim? Oh, stand up, too. Stand up, too. Don't reveal the answer, because you've got a thing there with the answer on it. Okay. Now, Rebecca and Tim. Uh, Rebecca is 28. Uh, Tim is grateful. Um, <laughs> they... No. He's 24 and grateful. Uh, <laughs> here's Rebecca and Tim. Brace yourselves. All right. It stopped when Rebecca wanted it to stop. <laughs> Look at Tim hanging on. Don't let it in. Did you just meet in the queue? <laughs> well, how long do you think they've been together? I think I saw them both in a porno. <laughs> Over a year. Over a year. Over a year. What would yeah. you say, Lisa? I would say um, six months. I think it's newer. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look. Let's see. <gasps> You're oh. back. Where are you serious? Is there any money for this? Is there any prize money? Oh my 
my God. I swear, no, no, this is not true. I begged you to go to Vegas with me for 30 years. <laughs> Are you she's, serious? She's, we haven't, we haven't picked this. You she's a witchy. witchy. She is witchy. Oh, she's a witch. That is <laughs> very good. <laughs> All right, here's a Scott and Sarah. Stand up, do wherever you are. Oh, there you are. Hello. Now, Scott is 24. Sarah's a little younger. She's 18. What? Uh -oh. She says she's 18. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, parents watching the show. My man! <laughs> uh, all right, uh, let's have a look at them in action. <laughs> it, it feels wrong to look somehow, doesn't it? Show. It's not sort of a social experiment. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Uh, how long do you think they've been together? Well, first of all, she's suited more for a man my age. <laughs> uh, well, this is a tough one. I mean, he's got. I mean, she knows what he likes. I mean, <laughs> he he likes a bit of neck. I mean, <laughs> under a year. Under a year. Under a year. Yeah, I, I was. Gonna, I'll agree. I'd say about two months. Two months? Mm. Let's have a look. <gasps> Lisa! Uh, James, I just wanted to get it wrong. So you should have left the ready. table. <laughs> you should have left the table. Seven um, months. Um, and rather disturbingly, they met at a Joe Pasquale gig. Have <laughs> <laughs> well, well, consummated yet? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or you're happy the way it is. Yeah. <laughs> She's working down. <laughs> Where's uh, Alison and Mark Cullinan? I'm guessing they're married. There they are. Hello. Now, uh, uh, Alison's 39, Mark's 40, and uh, we put them in a room and said, go for it. And uh, <laughs> this, these are the disturbing images that have followed. <laughs> Again, Alison sort of made that end. <laughs> oh, he was looking for crisps or something. <laughs> so how, how long have they been together? Well, I think they have a great sex life. I would <laughs> bet on it. Yeah. <laughs> great sex life. I mean, that's a relationship. I mean, that's, uh, that's uh, 40, 39, 7 to 10 years. 7 to 10 years? Yeah. Lisa. If you beat me again. <laughs> I, w I would say, um, I'm going to say a little bit longer, maybe 12 years. Let's have a look. Oh. <laughs> well done, Laura Couples. Thank you. Listen, uh, that's very nearly it for tonight, but we do have a special treat. Yeah. Uh, singing is out. Please welcome Mika is here. <laughs> How old are you, can I ask you? 23. 23, my guy, my, yeah, you get you right in between our son's age. But he's 23, yeah. debut single, and was at number one for six weeks. Nothing's at number one for six first, weeks First anymore. album. First single, and first then the album, album doubly annoying, it was number one <laughs> as well. And uh, uh, so the, this single, Grace Kelly, is yes. the name of it. Have you heard it? Have you heard his music? No, but if you, I'd just like to tell you a little bit about Lisa Hoffman's skin. <laughs> <laughs> 23. It's, it's my wife's single. It's a, it's a no, I, do, I want to, when, when did it you It looks like it works. Yes. <laughs> when it does, it looks serious. Yeah, it, it does, it does. It looks like, you know, don't take it lightly. When, <laughs> can I ask him a couple questions? Yeah, yeah please do. When, when did you start playing music? When did you, because we have sons, I'm curious. When did, like, first know that you wanted to play music? Um, I first started doing it seriously when I was about 11 years old. And, um, 
I got my first gig at 11 at the Royal Opera House in the chorus of a Strauss opera. And then it just kind of went on from there. You know, it's weird to think that a year and a half ago I was studying at the Royal College of Music. Really? So, no, was that? I, I assumed you were... Oh, you're here? No, I thought... 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 I am. Bon. No. Doesn't matter. It's not... It's not every day you get to sit on a couch with Dustin Hoffman. It sort of is. We were kind of having a moment. And you blew our moment. I'll take it, Graham. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was, I was, I was studying. No, I didn't realize that. I just was very surprised. It was only a year and a half ago you were studying. Yeah, no, well, about a little bit more than that now. I mean, it's all gone so fast now that I kind of forget everything. And uh, Grace, you actually, you should. It is a really good album. It yes. is a really good album. But uh, the the. Do you have Kate, an extra one? I could find one. All right. But you're rich enough. You can buy it. But what? <laughs> But Grace Kelly, is this true, the story where you thought that uh, Prince Rainier from, from Monaco had written you a letter? Oh, yeah, I got this crazy letter. A friend of, a friend of mine um, actually like, spent a long time pretend, making this kind of pretend uh, letter from the, what, what's it, the Crown, Crown Prince, Prince, or, Crown Prince of Monaco. And uh, he said that they were going to sue me and that I wasn't allowed back into Monaco and that... Um, they would do everything in their power because they were insulted by the words Grace Kelly, all her looks were too sad and that it wasn't good for her memory. And I thought it was serious. I called up my lawyer within the same for 10 minutes. I was just like, <laughs> was it, not that I was worried about not being allowed into Monaco. It was more about just kind of, you know, someone taking my music so seriously. Yeah, as practical jokes go, not very funny. Not very funny. Do <laughs> <laughs> you want to go back to Monaco? Um... <laughs> I can get you an Omar Sharif's mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and, and listen, if you're going to uh, play your new single. Yeah, Love Today. Love Today. Love Today. Love Today. See, I do listen to the album. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, it's so sad. Enough, so not your demographic. But uh, so if you want to go and uh, get yes, ready I over will. there uh, yeah, with I the rest of the band. Mika, client. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you see the tag? Also, please thank my guests, Dustin and Lisa Hoffman. <laughs> We're about to do a cool down, which you can see as a video podcast now on the website or watch first feet this Sunday night. Now, the players I would love today, it's Mika. I'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye. <laughs>
Thank you very much. You. Meet you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you guys, this is, this is a thing we call, like, the cool down. Yes. So if you guys take a seat again. Yes, take a seat, take a seat. Uh, oh, there you go. What, what is, is there a story with the monkey? Well, the monkey's called Choo Choo. Choo Choo the monkey. Choo Choo. Yes. Um, I've got all these little crazy imaginary characters that are based on different songs in my album. Okay. And one of the songs is called Lollipop Girl. Um, she lives in some forest and spends her life running away from monkeys, one called Choo Choo, because they're after her lollipop. That's the story. Okay. <laughs> so the truth of the matter is that my guitarist, Martin, just had a baby, and I've got another guitarist, but I want to hide his face, so I put him in the costume. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I have to say, Choo Choo, it is difficult buying shoes for a monkey outfit, isn't it? <laughs> uh, do you know the old show Mr. and Mrs.? Yes. Do you, do you mind if we... Oh, you no, is it a bad yes, idea? No, no, I don't really know what I'm... Okay, I'm what it is I'm is... I'm lying. What, what, what I was going to lying. do was, I was going to get some questions... Mrs. Mrs. Right? Yes, go for, ahead. ...for Dustin and Lisa here yeah. to see... Yes. You know, basically, you ask people questions... Ask the witch. So yeah. you, ask, you ask Lisa... Yeah. Actually, okay, look, I'll tell you what. Yes. Um, if there's some headphones here, is there music in them? Is there music in them? Oh, actually, it's Mika's album is in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So wait, wait, don't put them on yet. <laughs> no. Don't put them on yet. I'll go and find someone in the audience who has a question yes. for Lisa about you. Okay. And then you have the headphones on, so you don't hear her answer. You don't hear her answer. Yeah, do that. Right. Then you don't hear her answer. You don't hear her answer. All right. And then she answers, and then we ask you and okay. see if the answers match. All right. See how that game works? Yes. yes. Okay, so who has you a question? Oh, 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 lady up here. Hang on. So stand up, you. So, okay, so, so Dustin, pop your headphones on. Pop what? your headphones, headphones on. Headphones on? Headphones on. Yeah. So, Dustin, you're listening to music. Yeah. What? <laughs> That's fine, good. So, you can't hear. Put them back on. Put them back on. Okay, what's your question for Lisa? Who should play Dustin in a film of his life? Who would he like to do that? No, it's fine. That's good. Well done. Beautiful. Oh, he's Wait, cheating. No, no, I'm not. Just not. Miko's looking down my wife's no. cleavage. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, back on, back on. Okay, answer that. Oh no, 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 no. You, you know, you know, you, you. You, 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 wait. you wait, you wait, you wait. Oh wait, God. Wait. Who would he say? Don't look. Brad Pitt. <laughs> okay. Okay. Head goes off. Okay. The question, the question the lady had was, who would you like to play you in the story of your life? What a toughie. I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Who do you think Lisa would think you would think? <laughs> the story uh, is a joke. You mean like George Clooney or something? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> or, se or seriously? You mean seriously? The story of my life. I, I, I'm. 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 So you were very close. Really? You were very close. <laughs> Brad Pitt. Oh! We'll do one more. Anyone else? Anyone else? Anyone else? Let's go. I am so much uh, sexier than Brad. Yay! 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 You up here? Okay, headphones on. Headphones on. Okay, yep. Lisa, what's Dunstan's worst ho habit? His name's Dustin. Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> what's his worst habit? What does really what's he what, think? What's, he, what, oh, what, what's his what worst habit? What do I think or what does he think? What does he think, I guess? Uh, what does he think you'll say? Thank you. Farting in bed. <laughs> what did you say? What did you say? What, 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 what did you say? Farting in bed. Okay, uh, let's go. Say oh, say oh, say you're oh, gonna get you down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, apart from singing, yeah. uh, what, 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 what is your most annoying habit? Farting in bed. <laughs> oh! Do you mind putting the headphones on for one second? Oh, yeah. all now, and there's, there's a few men here tonight, right? Now, I'm not the only one. <laughs> you get up at night, she says, you get up during the night, you go to the bathroom, you take a pee, you come back to the bed, and then you fart. <laughs> Why can't you fart in there? <laughs> am, am I the only one here that... No, and she says, it's nation. offensive. She calls it microscopic shit. <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. That's a, a window into your lives. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay, 
If you, no, you no. let's do one I the other way around. Right? We'll just do, we're very quick. We'll just do uh, one and then we're done. Okay, one one question for Dustin about Lisa. Lady at the back there. Okay. Oh, uh, get even. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dustin, would you describe yourself in bed as a marathon man, little big man, or a rain man? <laughs> I mean, what I think she's going to say. Yeah, what's she going to say? Well, she's not going to say Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Marathon Man who, who's, like, going in for a long time. I doubt whether she's... If she's honest, she's not going to say that. What's the other one? Little Big Man. I'd hope she says that. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so you're going with that one? Yeah. OK. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, Lisa? Rain Man, Lisa? Well, it's okay. over. It's over. How would you uh -oh. describe him in bed? Would you describe him as a Marathon Man... B little, B, B, little big man, or C, rain man? Um, Don't fuck me up. <laughs> Be careful, I don't help you with your product ever again. Marathon man. She was trying to pick you up there. When's the last time I've gone for 26 and a half miles? <laughs> I didn't think of it literally. Um, yeah. The pleasure was endless. Yes. That's what it was. Yes. Yeah, that's what, what it was. Oh, yeah. I picked little big man, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, no. 